How are you all doing? Okay, okay, that's all. As we've said before, the United States will support uh, those who seek peace, but we will deny support, and we will work to apply international pressure to any elements that attempt to use force to seize power. That is not acceptable. The talks in Addis Ababa, we believe, are absolutely the best way forward. And the world is going to be watching very closely to see uh, that a halt to the fighting on the ground takes place uh, and to test the good faith of leaders uh, of any group, uh, and particularly the two most uh, critical uh, players here, President Keir and uh, former Vice President Rick Machar, both of them uh, need to push their people to come to the table here. The fighting must end, and we seek tangible process towards peace on the ground. Uh, and so we, the United States, President Obama, uh, myself, will do everything in our power uh, to help the parties be able to see the road ahead in ways that will meet the interests of both of their peoples. The security of Israel is always paramount in my mind, in our mind. Uh, for 29 years, I had the privilege of serving in the United States Senate, and I'm proud to say I had a 100 percent voting record with respect to those issues of concern to Israel, and I don't intend to change that now. Uh, Israel's security uh, is critical, and the United States relationship is ironclad. But so is our concern for the people of Palestine and for the Palestinians and their future. Uh, and I can guarantee all parties that President Obama and I are committed to putting forward ideas that are fair, that are balanced, <clears throat> and that improve the security of all of the people of this region. So the answer is I'm not going to lay out one particular example or another except to say to you that the path is becoming clearer. The puzzle is becoming uh, more defined. And it is becoming much more apparent to everybody what the remaining tough choices are and, uh, you know, what the options are with respect to those choices. But it takes time uh, to work through these things. And I, that's why I have refused to ever set a particular timetable. Uh, and, and, but I feel comfortable that those major choices are now on the table and that the leaders are grappling with these options. Now, you know, we're going to do everything that is possible to help them, uh, and I, I will not go into the details except to say that we're in contact with tribal leaders from Ambar province, whom we know, who are showing great courage and standing up against this as they reject terrorist groups. Uh, from their cities. And um, this is a fight that belongs to the Iraqis. That is exactly what the President and the world decided some time ago when we left Iraq. So we are not, obviously, contemplating returning. We're not contemplating putting boots on the ground. This is their fight. But we're going to help them in their fight. And yes, we have an interest. We have an interest in, in helping the legitimate and elected government uh, be able to push back against uh, uh, terrorists. This is a fight that is bigger than just Iraq. So Iran knows exactly what it has to do with respect to uh, the nuclear program as well as with respect to Geneva too. And uh, it, it's, it's very simple. Uh, come join the community of nations uh, and do what all of us are committed to doing, which is try to bring about a peaceful resolution in Syria. Uh, by virtue of the implementation of Geneva 1.